Hello, in this video, I am going to show you the overflow property. I will provide a link to the official Bootstrap website, which covers it in I was gonna say more depth, basically what I've covered anyway, but just in case they're ever updated with more features or you know, more information, I will provide that link in the description. So overflow. So if you have some it's a content text, it could be, it could be anything, but text makes it very easy and it's too much for the actual content you know the container size the parent container especially uh, this is the case when like the container has a specified size then you the content will either extend it or not appear so this is what overflow allows you to do so if i first of all create a couple of divs and in these divs i am going to put just this lorem ipsum text which we all know and love from template websites. I am um, this on a new line. Put this on a new line. And what I'm gonna do, I'm, I'll close this. So I've got a bit more real estate to play with. Copy this. And paste it. So we got two instances of this. I'll also put a break line, just this is just for styling. For the simple reason, it would be on top of each other the way. So we got this. Now, let me show you what happened if I was to put a style and I was to force the height to be, let's say, 60 pixels for both of them. Obviously, so far, both of them will act the same way. And so, do we do, do, do. I like that. Okay, so at the moment, they are the same. But now let's start adding some overflow. Okay, so if I put a class of overflow dash auto, and then if I put a class here, so these are the two classes available in Bootstrap overflow dash hidden. Save, refresh. Ooh, what do we get? So part of the content is, you know, cut off once we add overflow because, you know, the 60 pixels. But with the overflow hidden, we can't actually access it. It's only some of it. It might be more. Whereas with the overflow auto, I can actually scroll through it. So this is a great way of having a lot of information, a lot of content on the page without actually having to make the page really long. So if there's a little section I want to read more about, I could just scroll, for example, or if there's some blog posts, I could do that. And it allows you to keep your website very compact. So that's it, very simple stuff. But as usual, if you have any questions, feel free to pop me a message. And as usual, I look forward to seeing you in the next video.